Cyclist Liz Stavreski is carrying the scars of an unlucky encounter with a kangaroo. Multiple rib fractures, sort of permeated lung, a crushed collarbone that had to be plated and put together back with some screws and 10 days in hospital. The 49-year-old triathlete was doing a morning training with friends when she was struck by a roo coming down Norton Summit Road at Turingi. A kangaroo just dived out in front of me on my front wheel, so there was no opportunity to to stop or, or break. I pretty much sort of came off the bike um, from the impact. With Liz at the back of the group, no one saw her fall as she travelled at about 40 kilometres an hour. I realised at that point I was in very big trouble because I just was in agonising pain and I knew I was broken. Despite her extensive injuries, Liz crawled to the side of the road. A passing motorist then stopped to help and Liz was taken by ambulance to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. That was three months ago. Some people call it a freak accident for me and my timing was terrible clearly, um, but it's important for people to be aware that there is kangaroos active on that section of road. Bicycle SA says while kangaroo crashes are rare, there are regular reports by cyclists of near misses and roos aren't the only wildlife that pose a risk. There's everything from kangaroos to koalas and even up sort of around Eagle on the Hill there's, there's deer out there. Brett Gillette says as the weather improves and more cyclists hit the roads, it's important for people to take extra care. It's about not be, being complacent and understanding that we are the vulnerable road users on the road. So far this year, three cyclists have died in accidents in South Australia and on average 9,000 cyclists each year are hospitalised in Australia. James Wakelin, ABC News, Adelaide.